So, so guess what now? Because of their action, you know what Moses had to do? Moses had to go back and did everything he previously did, standing in the gap of this stiff-necked people. And Deuteronomy 9 verse 18 to 20 said, and I, I, this is Moses speaking, right? And I fell down before the Lord as at the first. Forty days and forty nights, I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of all your sins which ye have sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and the hot displeasure wherewith the Lord was wroth against you to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. And the Lord was very angry, even with Aaron, because rightly so. Because you see, Aaron, yeah, Aaron, this is, oh, this is why even today, Aaron shows the importance of having leaders who have sense and leaders who fear God. Because you see, if a leader fear the people more than they fear God, the people will force and persuade the leaders, weak leaders, to agree and to pass laws that they know isn't good. Because all these years, Moses I lead them people. Oh my, English, English, Danica. All these years, Moses, he's leading these people, right? And Moses, he could stand firm and stand in the gap. And he was, whether them like it or not, he, he's doing the right thing for them. Because you see, sometimes when you're doing something that's good for people, they don't see it until years later, or until it later, and they say, oh my days, I should have listened. You need leaders like this who when people, them are complaining, when them are complaining, you say, I'm not listening to you because I know that what I'm doing for you, it's for the best. You're going to thank me one day. Moses, for years, he's leading these people. And just 40 days, 40 days. So God was angry with Aaron as well. And God was also ready to destroy him too. But Moses said, and I prayed for Aaron also the same time.